Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video. Now, today is about men's cards. Now, I want to show you something. So, I went on to Google and I just saved a few pictures. For example, this is a man's tie. That's not a man's tie, is it? <laughs> this one's a man's tie. A shirt and another shirt and there's so many if you just you know put in um, men's shirts or whatever so this sort of tie here I'm going to show you what I did I made this but I cut that wrong so anyway what I did was I found a stamp um, <coughs> And I just heat embossed it and inked it and stuff. So we're going to do something similar to this one. So I'll show you what we're going to do. So I've got a piece of card and stamps. What the first, the one I've just showed you was this Paisley design, even though it's a Christmas stamp, you can get away with using it for any time. So I'd use that one. This would be a good one, like a henna ink stamp. And then I've also found this one and I'm going to go for this one. So I'm sure you can read your stash and you'll have something, some sort of pattern or something. <clears throat> so I've got me a bit of card here. I'm just going to pop that in and then just position that down I'm gonna use, hmm, we'll use silver, did I use on that one? Yeah, we'll use silver powder. But of course, you can use whatever you've got. Right, so that's done. Sticky bits in there. What is that? So that's done. Now I'm going to choose a colour which is similar to the tie that we saw in the picture, which is peacock feathers. So I'm going to ink this all over. Um, I'm just going to use my little blending tool, just letting it sort of cool off for a little bit. Just sometimes, if you ink it when it's really hot, it will it will smudge. Um, so I just sort of, you know, let it cool off a little bit. So I've got peacock feathers, and I'm just going to ink it all over. I've just got a bit of a, a little rag here and I'm just going to wipe it over just to bring back the sort of shiny embossing just to get the ink off that sitting on the surface. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is take my paper trimmer 
and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut two. I think I'm going to do one and a quarter inch wide strips. But I'm going to cut this bit off the top first. Got some black card and I'm just going to glue leaving a bit of a border not around the top and the bottom just the sides So I've done that and I'm just going to trim it by hand. You can use your paper trimmer if you want or a craft knife even and a ruler. There's my two little strips <clears throat> and then I've got another piece of card which again I'm going to ink in the same peacock feathers. So I'm going to do egg exactly the same. quilted embossing folder by Tim Holtz and I'm going to spray the back with water just to help it get in all of the fibres when you emboss it because it's a 3D embossing folder. So I will quickly run this through. so we've got that done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my card so it's going to go on a black oops, it's going to go on a black card base just like that but before I do that I'm going to have my sort of embossed strips so I'm going to place them where I want them which is basically anywhere you want so I could have say one like that one like that I think that looks so nice and then I'm going to pop it on my black card base and we just need to add our sentiment so pretty already so I'm just going to grab a sentiment and I'll be back okay so that is all I did I just stamped 
happy birthday and I put them sort of on an angle to match the card and I think that's turned out beautiful and as I said probably not something I would instantly think oh I need to make a male card let's make this so and then if we look at the tie you know you can see how I've sort of incorporated that like pulled my idea from it you probably hear my cat. <laughs> I think she is in heat again for about the sixth time in the last few months. I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Come on, kitty. <laughs> I hope it picks it up, but yeah, she's saying hello. <laughs> gorgeous so we're going to move on to another one all right we're going to do another one we are going to attempt let me show you this <laughs> now i have to be honest i'm a tad nervous about this <laughs> just because it is not the style that I would go for. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I took a die that I had or a stamp and a die and I've done these little flowers which resemble those flowers in the shirt. It's from this set here but of course seriously you could use any flowers it, it doesn't really matter what they are and I've just heat embossed them which is sort of still kept that nice sparkle and I've just coloured them with alcohol markers orange and a bit of yellow that's all I've done and then I've took a little strip of card and I have coloured it with Mermaid Lagoon and what I'm going to do first is these flowers are going to sort of be positioned on here and I'm going to trim them so I'm going to glue them on and then I'm going to trim the bits that are hanging over so um, I need some glue and I'll probably maybe just stick a little crystal or something over the you know the bits that are the little holes in the centres So I'll just stick these down. As I said, it is not a card that I would make, certainly not, but because I've you know sort of google the shirt designs or tie designs it opens up in a way it's good because it gets you to completely you know takes you out of your comfort zone um you know trust me because i would not <laughs> i think you probably know if you, if you you know if you've watched me for a while or whatever but this is not something i would make ever <laughs> so I've got that there now I'm, we're going to make a six by six card so I've got a <clears throat> five and seven eight square piece of white card so this piece here I've made a little black sort of matte and layer for it because the idea is that will sit in the middle of the card now this bit here I've got a bigger stamp because you get two in a pack you get a small and a larger and I'm gonna stamp this all around with um, embossing ink and then I think I'm gonna cover it in Kitsch Flamingo because the shirt was sort of pink and blue and yellow so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna hand stamp them because it will be ridiculous trying to keep moving them around the stamping platform 
So let me, and I think, I can't remember if I did that in gold. No, I did, I think I did that in silver. So silver embossing powder. So I shall wipe this over. Sorry, we're getting the sun coming out. Not that I don't like the sun coming out, but not when I'm doing a video. <laughs> right, I've done that. And um, these stamps are okay. They're not the best quality, but never mind. It's done. So I'm going to take my pitch flamingo. Basically, what we've just been doing, I'm just going to sort of cover it um, with the ink. And I've just sort of give it again just a little minute to sort of cool off and then we'll just cover the whole thing okay that's done um the stamps haven't stamped very well which is a shame because that sort of let it down a little bit but if I could have put them in the stamping platform, it would have been great because I, you know, could have just stamped it a few times. But anyway, this is about, you know, sort of ideas. So that's done. Now I'm still very nervous about this card. So I've got a six by six black card base that is going to go on there because it's completely out of my comfort zone. It's not what I would make. Um, I wouldn't even think of it because it just really sort of isn't my kind of style but nevertheless it's as I say it's trying something completely new I bet it looks horrible <laughs> I hope it doesn't okay so this bit I have I stuck that onto the back card and the idea is that it's going to go in the middle Wow, I actually really like that. It's something so different, but that actually looks really nice. So we will glue this on. What I did was I cut out a happy birthday, but I put about three layers on just from, you know, scrap card. And then the top layer was a gold sort of mirror card. So it's sort of gone for maybe it's a, not Hawaiian because the sort of sunflowers, but you get what I mean. Um, I've got some little enamel, glitter enamel dots to go over. Just them two little flowers there. So pop that there and a little one over there there we go now yeah I love it and it really works you know you look at a men's tie or a man's shirt taking inspiration from that you know I would not make this kind of card <laughs> so it's just so cool isn't it And if we grab the, if I can find my phone, we'll look at the picture. <clears throat> so you can see, you know, I've sort of took inspiration from the colours and the sort of flower. So try this because I'm actually really surprised that I love this card and it's not something that I would make at all. So we're going to do one more. 
All right, so we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do another. Um, yes, we are. This one here. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna try. No, 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 no! Don't touch that kitty. Oh no, no! You go in the window. No. <laughs> Hang on. Right. So, I've took a piece of card here and I've just cut a sort of reddish sort of pinky colour and then a pink and then I've cut a really sort of thin strip of like a very pale yellow and then the same colour here I've cut this in a sort of red so I'm going to glue these on and I'm going to show you what we're going to do but of course you could use any colours you want and you could lay it out in a different way it's up to you but I'm taking inspiration from this sort of men's shirt sorry if you can hear loads of noise it's just I've got a little box on the floor and of course the cat's trying to get inside <laughs> I'm gonna pop that on there so I've got the yellow <laughs> thin yellow strip need to fill this glue back up and that one's gonna go just there sorry this phone keep it keeps dropping Now it's going to be going all over the place. No! Do you want to be... Do you want to be on the video too? <laughs> so, I've got the red one. No, kitty. How am I going to glue that on there now? Hmm? what do you not like it see can you see she does that thing where she goes on her like her back legs go down and it's definitely a sort of calling like calling for a mate but she's only about eight months old and it's happening a lot so i just i really don't know what's going on But it's like she's sort of calling for a mate. Calling for your boyfriends. <coughs> your kitty boyfriends. Hmm? She's <laughs> she's rubbing her little face on the mic. <laughs> I have to go down. Right. <laughs> so I've done that now I'm gonna get the stamping platform because I'm gonna stamp a happy birthday but I'm gonna do it directly onto this um, I think I'm just gonna have it here this Tim Holtz quilted folder and I'm going to put the whole thing in this now obviously it's just going to be a really sort of simple card I've just spritzed the back with a bit of water again
I maybe should have let my sentiment dry a little bit. Um, just a tiny bit smudge, I didn't think of that. But can you see how it sort of ingrains <clears throat> the little strips into the card? So that's so simple, but really effective. And I did have a card base somewhere. Put it on this red one, give it a completely different colour look. <clears throat> but yes, let your sentiment dry. Or you may want to, <clears throat> excuse me, you may want to just stamp it on like another piece of card and put it in that way. But if we get the picture back, we can see the inspiration we took from that. So try this because it will take you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring in the other ones we made. So I hope you like them and I hope you'll give it a try because it's not really something that I would make. <laughs> um, particularly that one, but you know I love that. So yeah, I'll have all the sizes on my blog. Um, I will be back on Sunday with another paper video. We are going to attempt the 12 by 12s. <laughs> now they are a problem. I have tons and tons of them things. So. Thanks for watching, take care and bye for now and well bye from Kitty as well. <laughs>